And in that first seven months, we grew 97% by applying strategies like this Mm -hmm. within premium healthcare. Welcome to Success Confidentials. Nine minutes every week that'll level up your practice. If you're a healthcare visionary obsessed with patient experience, team culture, marketing, and growth, you're in the right place. We are too. We're Lauren and Christine, the patient whispers. <laughs> we worked together for four years as leaders in a real premium practice. We did not play in the traditional healthcare sandbox and believe human emotions drive all success and it really really worked we grew our cash pay practice and averaged 60 percent year over year and on social media we grew our followers from 1,000 to 14,000 in just two years generating millions in annual revenue from social media alone so now we're out here sharing what made us wildly successful so you can be too let's have some fun (laughs) and let's dive in (laughs) All right, if you are a premium practice owner or leader or marketer, this is going to be a total game changer in growth. It's the larger market formula. This is not a secret. I mean, Mm -hmm. really, it's not a secret, Uh, but it kind of is for people in healthcare. Mm -hmm. We both come from the world of marketing, so we knew this formula. It's widely used in marketing. It's not our formula, but healthcare really didn't know anything about it when Mm -hmm. I joined healthcare, which was interesting to me. Applying the larger market formula in our own premium practice was really one of the reasons we were able to grow so fast. Mm -hmm. And in that first seven months, we grew 97% by applying strategies like this Mm -hmm. within premium healthcare. And this is so important for our counselors and our marketers Mm -hmm. to understand because it really helps you identify your demographic out there that would be a viable candidate or patient for your procedure. In any successful business, marketing and sales are two different things. Mm -hmm. And I know in healthcare, we don't like to talk about sales. It's kind of that dirty word. But that's our counselors. That's our in, the team of people who take phone calls from patients yeah. and talk to them at their consultations. Even our doctors or healthcare professionals that are doing the consultations, that's all sales. So this helps that team. It also helps the marketing team. Mm-hmm. Advertise to their target demographic. That's what we're talking about right now. That <laughs> premium cash pay patient. Yep. Before we break down the larger market formula, give us a top level understanding of what it is. Mm -hmm. So basically the larger market formula shows us that in any consumer demographic, or in this case, patient demographic, Mm -hmm. your ideal consumer or patient, they're broken down into certain stages in the consideration funnel. Mm -hmm. Um, Clearly there are things that can disrupt this. So for when, for example, when COVID happened Mm -hmm. and people were wearing masks and fogging up their glasses, right? That shifted it for LASIK. There were more people who were ready to have Mm -hmm. LASIK. But normally your target patient is falling within the larger market formula, which tells us where they're at in the buying funnel. Mm -hmm. And there's a certain percentage that are ready now and a certain percentage that are just out there at the top that um, are your demographic, but they're not even thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And if you think about marketing jargon of top of the funnel, bottom of the funnel, it's actually talking about the larger market formula and Mm -hmm. where they're at in their buying journey. Yeah, so if we look at top of the funnel, that top 60%, Mm The market, larger market formula shows us that 60% are, it's, they're not problem aware. Mm -hmm. They have the problem, Mm -hmm. but it's not on their radar to fix it. They've Mm -hmm. never thought of this procedure for themselves, Mm -hmm. uh, or they may not be aware of this procedure depending on what it is. Yeah. So this is the biggest percentage. Like you said, 60% Mm -hmm. of our ideal demographic is this piece right here, Mm -hmm. but how do we reach them? Mm -hmm. social media. That's where the majority of consumers are. But we need to provide them with content Mm -hmm. that's not aggressive, not a huge call to action like Mm -hmm. book now, but stops their scroll and provides them with the opportunity to see themselves in our patient or the story or see themselves in the procedure and what benefits it would bring to their life. Yeah, we just kind of want to have an aha moment Mm -hmm. with these people. They're not Googling. They're not looking yet. They're not booking a consultation right then for the first ad they've ever seen. We have to go find them Mm -hmm. and interrupt their experience. Yeah. 
So our second stage in the funnel Mm -hmm. is 20%. Mm -hmm. These people are problem aware. Mm -hmm. They know they want the procedure, but it's one of these ideas of like, oh, someday I'll get it done. You know, it's Mm -hmm. long term in the distance. It's not top of mind right now. Their number one priority. Yeah. Maybe I'll look into that when this happens. Mm -hmm. They're putting it off for some reason. Yeah. And these are also people who aren't Googling. Mm -hmm. They're not out there looking for you or this procedure or service yet. So again, this is really where we can reach this 20%, a huge Mm -hmm. chunk Mm -hmm. of the larger market formula of our target patients. We can reach them through things like social media Mm -hmm. uh, or even radio, or there's a lot of different ways Mm -hmm. we can reach them. But for us, we know social media is the best ROI Mm -hmm. to really kind of help them overcome those things that are making them put it off. Mm -hmm. And for our call to actions for these people, we really want it to be a low investment, meaning Mm -hmm. They're not coming in and spending time out of their day to take off work to come in for a consultation. Not they yet. want to do a self-test or request more information just yes. to kind of dip their toe in the water and find out some more information before yeah. they make a bigger investment down yes. the funnel. It needs to be soft. Mm-hmm. And this is something that's missing for most practices mm-hmm. we work with is this simple, soft request information, Mm -hmm. call to action. You're missing this 20%. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. A lot. And we've, what we've talked through already Mm -hmm. is 80% of the funnel. Yeah. It's a huge chunk. Mm -hmm. And as we know, a lot of healthcare practices are missing the mark by putting call to actions that are booked now, which we will get Mm -hmm. to that percentage later, but I think it'll be shocking to them how small of a percentage that is Mm -hmm. that a lot of the market is fighting for Mm -hmm. their dollar. Yeah. If we can help you with anything related to today's topic, use the link to schedule a free 30 minute synergy session just for new practices. For our existing practice clients, you already know where to find us. Now we want to hear from you. What resonated? What other topics are hot for you right now? We want to know all about it in the comments. We're just a comment away. So if you have any questions, we personally respond to all comments and DMs. If you're not subscribed yet, make it easy on yourself to see new episodes and reference topics that are helpful by hitting the subscribe button.